You can change the size of an artboard at any time that you like. Now this time I'm going to go to the dedicated artboard tool at the bottom of the tools panel and you can reach that by pressing shift and O as well. Now, because the last artboard we edited was O2 composite, that's the one that's now active again inside of this artboard mode and we see the bounding box around it. So uh, if we wish to change it to a preset, for example, well, we can go up to the preset menu at the top. Currently A4 is applied. The only other ones in this list that are really relevant in this case, because this is a print based document, all, all, all the ones from letter right through to B4 in there, which is an envelope size. So if in this case, I was to choose something like letter, then it will change the sizing here. So the sizes update at the top of the width and height, and it shows us the preset in there. And then if you wish to, you can click and drag and you can move that around and you can reposition it afterwards. You can also take your cursor to the handles that are around the outside. So if you wish to, you could change the width and the height at any point in there. But in all honesty, um, if you're going to create any kind of artboard, it's generally going to need to be created at a specific size for print output or for screen use. So you can go across the properties panel and use the width and height fields accordingly. Now, before I do, I'm just going to click on the top left corner of the reference point to pin that portion of my artboard in place. And then I'll go across the width field and type in 210 just to reinstate my A4 width in there and then change the height to 99. Now that will give me one third of A4, typical in the UK and Europe at the very least, um, in those regions for creating a complement slip size or maybe an invitation size that could fit inside of a DL envelope. You can also go up to the control panel and click on artboard options, uh, as if there aren't enough already. These essentially cover almost all of the options we've seen before, but just in a dialog box. So there's the name, preset sizes, width and height, uh, for example, here under orientation, notice that if I change it to portrait from landscape, it doesn't update and there is no preview checkbox inside of it. Um, there is a rather handy option down here under global, which will then allow you to fade the region outside the artboard. Now, notice that when I turn this on, it does update the preview of the artboard and it also shows us this faded region. So personally speaking, I prefer to see that turned on. It gives me a nice focal point with a bright white artboard in there. You have the option at the bottom to delete the artboard, but in my case, I'm just going to click on OK. Uh, I will change that back to a landscape to orientation. So I'll go across the properties panel and click on the landscape button in there just to reinstate that. And then I'll hit the escape key to come out of artboard editing mode. And that is how you change the sizes of an artboard in Illustrator.